To balance this equation, FeSO4 plus NaOH will count the atoms up on both sides of the equation. We have one Fe, and then we're going to use a bit of a trick here. This is a double displacement reaction. So this sulfate here, this SO4, we have it here and we have it here. So with double displacement reactions, we tend to count these things as one item. So we have one sulfate, we have one sodium, and this hydroxide group, this OH, we have it here and we have it here. So we'll count this as just one item and we have one hydroxide. On the product side, we have one iron, we have one sulfate, two sodiums, and then two hydroxides. So to balance the sodiums, it looks like if we put a two as our coefficient in front of the NaOH, one times two, that would balance the sodiums. And this two applies to everything. We have our one hydroxide times two. That balances the hydroxides, and we're done. So by counting these polyatomic ions as one item, it just makes it a lot easier to balance double displacement reactions. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for iron 2 sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.